right. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, sorry about that. I was just enjoying the sun in the uh, in the back garden. But now I've uh, got the bike out the front, lock the gate. We'll be on our way. All right. During the week, I had my uh, Ron Haslam race school day. And I'm just going to give you my experience. Tell you what I thought. I got um, I got bought the uh, the voucher for the Ron Haslam race school day. It's a nice Mustang. Distracted. Uh, yeah, I got bought the voucher for the Ron Haslam race school day. Uh, I chose uh, the 4th of May to do it. And as you can tell, or you'll remember, the weather was absolutely glorious. It was like this. And for the whole week before, it had been thrown in down with the rain, and I was quite worried. But yeah, got there. Awesome, awesome weather. So when you get there, you go and sign in uh, and they just make your way around and then when they call the group time that you're booked in you uh, you go and show them your helmet because it has to be gold rated obviously because you're going on a track the uh, ACU gold logo if you don't know what it is I'll put the picture up as if by magic now and if you need anything then that's when they sort it out I had uh, my boots with me they wouldn't let me wear them you have to wear full length ones i think so i had to wear those oh so they gave me a one-piece suit because you have to have leathers that are at least a two-piece that zip together or a one-piece suit no textiles or anything allowed so they sorted me out with one of them which was very <laughs> revealing shall we say um they see you in for the briefing they give you a little bit of a pep talk on the track once you've done that they take you out into the through the back of a, a pit garage where the, the, there's a list of your names uh, and they assign you a bike number and introduce you to your instructor um, and the one i did was the premier one which was cbr 600 rr yeah they introduce you to your partner and the instructor and when you when you ring to book they try and get a little bit of a history about what you've done riding wise if you've done any other track days or how long you've been riding as well so um they compare you with the right person because obviously you and the instructor go around with someone else and there's no point in you being with somebody who's a track day god and you're you're not uh, you get three 15-minute sessions, uh, of which you'll both take in turns in uh, leading. Your instructor will always be in front, but the two students, will, I'll call them, they swap places halfway through a session. When the first time you come in, he'll, he'll say, right, okay, the first thing I've noticed is, which he said to me was the form, basically, the, the position of your body on the bike is way too rigid and, and upright all the time on the bike. So you need to shift yourself around on it. And I mean, I'm not, I don't admit to be any kind of uh, speed demon, like for track, track riding or anything like that. I mean, look at the bike I ride, and I got onto a 600 RR. I mean, that in itself was a challenge getting to grips with that. I said, yeah, I'd like to get my knee down for the first time today, if that's possible. He said, well, we'll see. If it happens, it happens. Uh, second session went out, and I'd, I'd stopped riding it as a as a country lane, and more, and I, I tried to attack it a bit more, as best as I could, you know, um, as best as I could for a, a, a total track virgin. Yeah, and it was amazing, it felt great. The, the, the brakes on that 600 RR, Jesus, I mean, these, the, the new bikes this year as well, apparently they told us, and they've all got ABS, which I was a little disappointed about, because I, because I ride one, I'd, I would have liked to have had one without ABS, just to see how I did after riding one for two years. But yeah, oh, it's such amazing fun, so much fun. The, the, and the best thing I'll say about them the day is that it's not competitive. You've got, because you've got your instructor in front of you telling you to move over if someone quicker is coming, which you, which you have to follow, you know, you have to move over because there's people on fire blades on the track at the same time as you. You know, after the second session, it will say, okay, 
where you're struggling, where do you think that you you feel that you can do better or you'd like to. But yeah, it's really good, like I say, and no pressure to make you ride out of your comfort zone. That's what they stress. They, they say, we don't really get many rules, but just don't ride beyond yourself. Only ride as fast as you feel comfortable. Um, they don't give any lap times on the package that I did. If you do the, what's called the Elite, uh, where you can, where you can use the fire blade, they give you data log in and you get an extra session and it's one on one with your instructor. But while it's there's certain rules to follow, you, you just go out there, you just go as fast as you want to go. And the, the stuff that I've learned from from cornering, the first thing you said was just shift your ass around on the bike, move. And it, it instantly clicked. I thought, yeah, I just don't, I just don't do that when I'm out on the road because I'm really not confident going into right-hand bends. I find that I'm either cutting them or I, I really slow down for them more than I need to. And that's this, the stuff that I've learned that day has really helped me. But I can thoroughly recommend it. And then they had a, a little prize draw at the end, and then your uh, your instructor gives you a. Like a bit of a, a, like a scoring or you know assessment of how you've done, like in, um, on your improvement over the day. Uh, while you're there, if you've got an RI helmet, they'll service it for free. Uh, I don't know what in that entails. Because I booked early on in the year, I got a discount, and they called it like the early bird. And then the fourth of May was the last day um, that the early bird was valid for. I'm sure it was 299 for the uh, Premier. You can do the Elite, which is a fire blade, one on one instruction, four 20 minute sessions instead of three 15 minute sessions. And I think that's 399. You can pay for the uh, Elite, but use the 600 RR uh, if you really wanted to. Personally, I think I would prefer the Fireblade because I wouldn't be so cramped on it. Absolutely 10 out of 10. The only thing, the only downside I'd say is that you just want more and more. You just want to go out again and again and again for longer. So which brings me to the next point I was going to make about this video. Next year, I think it might be a bit late this year because they're all getting booked up. He said uh, you're kind of at the end of July before you can get a, a place. I may try and make a group booking. So if you're interested in going, let me know in the comments below, because I'm serious about this, next year, because I think it's a bit late notice for people to get money together as, as well. Uh, next year, like a kind of a vlogger's, um, low, like a vlogger's day at the Von Hasen Race School. I probably won't tell them, you know, oh, we're this group of people that's come in. I just make a group booking and it's gonna, gonna be as many of as want to come, I think. It probably was about 12, maybe even more. It might have been about 16 people in the total group. I started at half 10. And uh, we were done for about half two, I think. It's like a morning and an afternoon session. Uh, so yeah, if you want to come and do that, I'm more than up for going again, definitely. Yeah, but honestly, I can't, I keep saying it, I can't stress how much. Yeah, how much I enjoyed it. It was incredible. At one point, um, where the Dunlop Bridge used to be, it's gone now, Chris Evans bought it, but where the Dunlop Bridge used to be, there's like the, the little crest, and I would, on my very last lap, I was going fast enough, and the front, the front wheel lifted. And when that happened, I thought, Jesus, I'm doing it, I'm living the dream. So yeah, anybody, let's go and do it. Let's go and do it at Donington, and it's gonna be brilliant. So I'm going to end this one here because it feels like I've been going on for ages. I've made it from town out to bloody Chilwall, as they say. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you all soon. Cheers. Bye-bye now.